Maybe you missed it. Maybe you just didn't have the time to watch a three hour presentation. Well, here's 49 things of note coming out of Google I.O. in under six minutes. So if this is your first Number one, the Android One project. Google's going to be providing reference specs for low cost smartphones targeted at emerging markets. Number two, India's first on the list and Google's working with Micromax, Carbon and Spice to get Android One smartphones out soon. Moreover, Google's also working with local carriers to make sure they, they get first time smartphone users online. Number three, Android One reference specs that we know of at this time, 4.5 inch display, dual SIM, FM radio and a micro SD card slot. Number four, Android One phones will be updated directly by Google, similar to the Nexus and Google Play editions. Number five, Android L. The next version of Android is yet to be named. For now, Google's calling it Android L. Number six, it's going to have a revamped UI with lots of smooth transitions, depth and shadow effects and Google calls this material design. It aims to hit the smooth 60 frames per second mark. Number seven, the home, back and open apps key get a revamp. Number eight, the recent app screen gets a revamp too with a new card based UI. The material design language is again visible here. Number nine, Chrome tabs now appear as individual tabs under recent apps. Number 10, third party app developers also have the option of getting multiple instances of their app to show up under open apps. Number 11, enhanced notifications right from the lock screen. Number 12, heads up display notifications to make sure you aren't interrupted from what you're doing, similar to the call notification on the Galaxy S5. Number 13, you can now set your phone to not ask for a PIN or passcode if certain conditions are satisfied, like for example if your smartwatch is detected. Number 14, Google now, now lets you rediscover content. Say you were looking at something on Google Earth, forgot about it and searched for it later, Google now will give you an option to go back to Google Earth. Number 15, Android L solely utilizes Android runtime or art, and Google says this means an almost 2x increase in performance. 16. Art is 64-bit compatible. 17. With the right hardware, we can now expect DirectX 11 level graphics on Android. Yes, that's PC level graphics on Android. Number 18. We have Project Volta aimed to improve battery life on Android. Number 19. One of the new features, Battery Historian provides a much more in-depth look at what's been draining your battery and when. Number 20. A new inbuilt battery saver functionality that you can either turn on manually or set it on automatically when your battery level is low. 21. Audio via USB functionality was also teased. 22. Then we have Android Wear that's going to be compatible with both Squire and Circular Displays. 23. With Android Wear you can simply swipe through different notifications, swipe to the side to expand on these notifications. Material designs again evident here. 24. Android Wear will have voice recognition and notifications will be synced. Swipe it away on your smartwatch and it goes away on your phone. 25. When it comes to calls, you can swipe from the left to accept a call, right to reject it or from the bottom to reject and send a text message. Swipe from the top to activate Do Not Disturb. 26. You can also control music from Android Wear. 27. All Android Wear counterparts to apps that you install on your phone will be auto-installed on your Android Wear device. 28. You can now pre-order the LG G Watch and Samsung uh, Galaxy Live from the Play Store with the Moto 360 coming later this year. 29. All three Android Wear devices will be water resistant. 30. Next we get to Android Auto. Yup, Android's gonna, gonna be in your car and is aimed at keeping things simple. Hands on the wheel, eyes on the road and control it with voice. 31. We have Android TV and this is aimed at simple lean back controls. 32. Android TV will also have full voice recognition. 33. You can even control your Android TV from your Android Wear watch. 34. Android TV will have full Google Cast support, meaning if you can do it with your Chromecast, you can do it on your Android TV. 35. Android TV will also allow multiplayer gaming across devices. 36. Google has Sony, Sharp and Philips on board and you can start seeing Android TV on TVs from these brands starting 2015. 37. Android TV is also going to be on TV boxes built by Asus and Razer among others. 38. Now we get a Chromecast. It's official. Finally, Chromecast is getting screen mirroring. 39. You now do not need to be on the same Wi-Fi network to cast a Chromecast. 40. Backdrop. Basically, screensaver for your TV. This lets you choose from different categories of images or even your own pictures. 41. You can ask what's on my Chromecast to get more details on these high-res backdrop images that Chromecast shows on your TV. 42. Next up, Chromebooks get some love. If your phone's with you, your Chromebook unlocks right away. 
43, a select few popular Android apps are not being ported over to the Chromebooks. 44, your Android notifications like calls, text, and battery low notifications will not pop up on your Chromebook. 45, back to Android again. Google natively offers a secure environment on Android for work, building on Samsung's Knox, so your personal and corporate apps can coexist peacefully on the same device. 46, Android L now includes factory reset protection, a kill switch that lets you remotely wipe your device in case it's lost or stolen. 47, you can now edit office files natively from Google Drive. 48, Google Fit. Now the data from your fitness trackers get fed into a central stream that various third-party apps can tap into. What that means is, with your fitness tracking devices like Fitbit Force, you aren't restricted to using Fitbit's own app anymore. And finally, number 49, this is probably the Nexus 9 render that Google might have sneaked into the presentation. So there you have it, 49 things that I thought you should know in less than 6 minutes. So to keep it short, rate, comment, subscribe, Ash here, C4E Tech, signing off, bye bye now.